online content creation, how to get stuff done, and how to not forget about anything. When you're creating content online, there is a lot of little things that go into that. Today, I wanna make sure you don't even forget the smallest of tasks and you got the task management alongside that amazing ClickUp marketing space I shared with you in the last video. If you're new here, I am Yvonne Hyman with AskEvie.com and I am a business efficiency consultant for digital entrepreneurs. So if you're ready to streamline your business to skyrocket your sales, now is your turn if you haven't done so yet to click the subscribe button and hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Content creation online. As I already mentioned, there is a lot of tasks involved, a lot of little single steps and a lot of things you need to pay attention to. Just thinking about YouTube, you need the title, the description and the tags and the keywords and making sure you have the right keywords and making sure all the team knows which the keyword is for that one. And what are you doing with the blog? Oh, we're gonna breathe and we're gonna go right back to have you watched the last video yet on the space setup on ClickUp. If you haven't done so yet, let's start there. Go back to the video, watch it now and go set up your space. With that, let's move into the actual task management. How do you build up that task? How have we set up the task? And how do you make sure you are getting the most out of every single piece of content you are doing? You probably remember we here at Ask EB, we start with a YouTube video. We then transcribe and edit that into a blog post. We then pull things out. When we actually do the job we are supposed to do, it doesn't happen quite with every video yet, but we are working on it, we are catching up into multiple pieces of content that get shared on social media. So today I want to deep dive into those actual tasks. How do we set them up and click up? The chance for you to just go grab the template and not even deal with it and how we move these tasks through the different stages and lists in ClickUp. Now let's go right onto my screen and look at the task to begin with. As you can see right here, this is a ready to go task for the content creation task management in ClickUp, the video we are talking about right now. I have in all of them just a rough overview how we create content and how we work with that. I have Mike Alton's blog linked here with reference where he's talking about how to make one piece of content into 26 pieces. He is starting with a Facebook Live, but it's a video, same thing. As well as Sunny Lenarduzzi's video on how to batch content like a boss. That is general information that I just keep here for reference. In the actual task management, there is two things happening. Our subtasks with the things that need to get done, as well as a document that I attached that has the rough outline for my videos. With the hook for the video to start, then the bumper comes in, we got a short intro, same intro just changes a little bit because I never really follow a script. We go into the meet and then we have a conclusion at the end to round up a call to action, something like that. That is always attached to it. That is for me when I'm recording the video as well as for my video guy to go back and see if I put any notifications in there, if I put any notes of, hey, we need to have an overlay here, we need to do this there. That's all happening in this document, right attached to the task, so nobody has to go hunt for that information. The rest is handled through subtasks with the video prep, the video edit, the video optimization and the actual publishing, the blog post and the evergreen content. Now let's talk about due dates with all of this and how we handle due dates in these tasks. Just like with every task and process, this is pretty much a living, breathing organism right here. So things are getting adjusted, things are getting changed, things are getting adapted. Right now, we are not using a due date for the main task because all of the subtasks have their due dates. That's the important thing right there. With the video prep, 
that is my first thing that needs to be done then with the video editing the optimization blog post and evergreen and as you can see with those due dates they are staggered looking at this july 3rd the video prep needs to be done the video edit the tuesday before the video gets published the video publish date is the 14th at 9 30 on this specific video this is the only task that actually has a time associated with it because i like to publish my youtube videos in the exact same time slot doesn't always happen but we gotta have goals right then the associated blog post is published the wednesday a week after the youtube video so my writer giving her a week time to get the job done and then publish it the wednesday after on the blog post and then the monday after the blog post goes live we start the evergreen marketing campaign with it now those are goal dates you know me i'm always honest with you i never say everything is perfect right here at ask evie right now we are catching up on some older blog posts which means those dates are pretty much in backlog the moment i record video because my awesome va is working on catching up on some blog posts that i want on the blog and happening but you still want those in here because if you don't put a due date to it it's not gonna get done it, it just doesn't happen so she knows that we are catching up another month and we'll be right on track with those and with those in here we save those as a template too and this is where one of the clickup features really comes in handy importing that template then we'll ask you due date do we want to remap those or do you want to keep those what are we doing with this and with that pulling in this template those dates automatically get updated by you telling ClickUp, okay this one needs to be on that day and everything else waterfall like just falls into place in those same time segments but templates will come in another video we'll deep dive more into that here pretty soon going into those actual subtasks you will find some additional information and checklists of what needs to get done for this task um, a lot happens right in the blog post again as i mentioned in the past video i'm not telling my video guy how to do his job so there's not much in there in the blog there's a lot that happens there with cleaning up the temi description taking that making it into a blog post the seo information the featured image and the size pinterest image additional pinterest image as well as a little bit of information for my pinterest seo because that can get tricky really fast and that's how you set up a task for content creation in ClickUp. As I mentioned, you don't even have to build this all out. You can just grab the template right in the description below. Now, how do we actually work with this? How, what, what happens? New video comes up. We already have some ideas right here that I need to record. Cool, we got a template right there. That's the name, there's nothing in it. Now, what, what do I do with that? Pretty simple, we just go right up here and say templates and we are pulling in the uh, ask Evie youtube process there it is now that the template is imported you can go up here on that due date as you see my template still has that due date and adjust the due date to the next blog post day which is going to be the 23rd and close that which will pop up the question of do we want to change the subtask due dates yes please and now suddenly all of those due dates adjusted and you don't even have to do anything else it's really that simple another thing on task management that happens here is the move from youtube video to upcoming to do to backlog as well as then to blog i move my tasks from upcoming that is an idea collection that is the list of just what's coming up what do we need to record what's happening there 
do is what we are working on right now. Backlog are things that, for example, the intro, that's actually a backlog. We've been talking about this for a while, but other things have taken priority. So that's one in the backlog. Going into board view allows you to see what needs to get done. They're in a regular to-do status. What's in process? This was a life we had planned that we had to move because I had surgery. That's why it's stuck in process. Proof is all the things that I need to get into and actually finalize to move them into complete. So in these statuses, we have kept them really, 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 really simple so that it makes sense throughout all of this and you can look at it and see what's happening. The next step for you and your team is going to be writing standard operating procedures around this. When I have done my job and the video is done, it moves into the YouTube do list. When my video guy marks his task as done, meaning the video is edited, it's uploaded to YouTube, all is done, he marks that as done, that then tells me, hey Evie, you need to do your SEO, your YouTube optimization, all the tags and all of that stuff. Then I mark that as done and move it into the blog folder, which means it is moved into blog, all the video stuff is done, we know it's all just focus on the blog now. And because the dependency got taken care of by me saying, check, done, the VA gets notified of, hey, a task just got opened up, the dependency is gone, you need to go write that blog post and she starts with her. And that is how the task moves its way through the different stages in ClickUp. If you are ready to become the superhero in your industry by showing up on social media to supercharge your success, seal more deals, and scale your business, then jump into the description. Those templates are there right for you. And if you even wanna take it to the next level and seriously kick some ass, there is also a wait list for a three month program where I teach you exactly how to become the hero of your social media and be everywhere. It's doable for all of you. If you made it this far and you have not subscribed, now is your turn. So go subscribe, hit the bell, so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you like this type of content, give it a thumbs up so I know to produce more of this.